What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Facts on TV, and tonight I'll go my WWE NXT review and highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And let's talk about WWE NXT. Now, WWE NXT was an average show, and I give it a five out of ten. So let's go over the match card. Extreme Res Resolution match: Elsa Dawn versus Apple Frey, Apollo Cruz versus Carmella Hayes, Trick Williams versus Axum, Grayson Waller hosts the Grayson Waller effect with NXT World Heavyweight Championship. On um, Braun Baker, Charlie Dempsey versus Hank Walker, and and that's about it. After a video, after a at after a video recap of the best. Moment from NXT 2022, Vic Joseph and WWE Hall of Famer Booker T welcomed the audience to the broadcast before quickly transitioning transitioning to the open match. All right, first match of the night. So we get Carmelo Hayes versus Apollo Crews. This match was fantastic. Um, two, the two lock up before Crews hit two shoulder tackles and flip over Hayes before connecting a drop kick to start the match. Apollo Crews got a headlock on Carmella Hayes before Carmella Hayes off the toe off the hole and hit hit the springboard Larry on Apollo Crews. Carmella Hayes hit an insecure kick on Apollo Crews before hitting a springboard leg drop on on Apollo Crews as he was hanged from the middle rope for a near fall. Carmella Hayes hit a a chop on Carmella Hayes, but Apollo Crews fired. Fire away in three chops before hitting a delayed vertical suplex on Carmelo Hayes before hitting a springboard senton, a corner splash, and a tilt a world backbreaker on Carmelo Hayes for a for a near fall. Apollo Cruz hit chop, hit a chop on Carmelo Hayes in the corner before Hayes walked to the other corner and hit a forearm strike to the head on. Head one to the back. Carmelo Hayes went for a back suplex on Apollo Cruz, but Apollo Cruz landed on his feet and hit two German suplexes before hitting an overhead toss on Carmelo Hayes. Apollo Cruz clothesline Carmelo Hayes to the outside of the ring before hitting a moonsault press off the apron onto Carmelo Hayes onto the outside. Apollo Cruz got Hayes on the apron and laid in the strikes on Carmelo Hayes before before the two got. Back in the ring, Com um, Apollo Cruz got Carmelo Hayes in the corner and hit a body shot, followed by a snap mirror elbow drop on Carmelo Hayes for a near fall. Apollo Cruz got um, Carmelo Hayes in a headlock f for a lengthy while. Carmelo Hayes reversed the hole by locking in the head scissors while holding Apollo Cruz's left arm in tech in 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 uh, Torquique. Um, but Apollo Cruz rolled over and locked in another headlock on Carmelo Hayes. The two got up before Apollo Cruz attacked Carmelo Hayes and locked in a bear hug on on Carmelo Hayes. But Carmelo Hayes hit a series of back elbows on Apollo Cruz, neck to reverse it into the guillotine before Apollo Cruz leaned Carmelo Hayes to the corner. Um, Carmelo Hayes tossed Apollo Cruz into the apron. With a bandera before he hit Apollo Cruz's leg to send him crashing into the floor. Carmelo Hayes slam, yeah, Car yeah. Carmelo Hayes slam Apollo Cruz into the stairs before the two got back in the ring with Carmelo Hayes targeting Apollo Cruz's left leg. Apollo Cruz got off the corner, but Carmelo Hayes caught him with a shotgun drop kick before hitting a Liger bomb on Apollo Cruz for near fall. To which he transitions repeat, rapidly into a single leg crab on Apollo Cruz's left leg. Apollo Cruz rolled over and hit an up hit an up kick on Carmelo Hayes to break the hole before hitting a leaping insecurity kick on Carmelo Hayes. Apollo Cruz hit a Larry a hit a Larry midsection thirst kick and a pump kick another Larry in a backstabber on Carmelo Hayes before connecting a leaping Larry on Carmelo Hayes. Apollo Cruz hit an insecurity kick in the corner before Apollo Cruz got Carmelo Hayes and hit a deadlift super plus on Carmelo Hayes for a near fall. Apollo Cruz went for an angle slam, but Carmelo Hayes rolled over and hit a pump kick. Apollo Cruz hogged up and hit a pump kick of his own. 
before going for a suplex. But Carmelo Hayes reverses it into a cutter before going for a top rope leg drop. But Apollo Crews evades it and Trick Williams pull Hayes, Carmelo Hayes off the corner. Uh, but Tricky Williams ate a lariat before Apollo Crews before Apollo Crews hit a gorilla plus slam and went for a standing moonsault. But Carmelo Hayes evaded and hit a cold breaker. Carmelo Hayes got to the top rope and hit a hit a top rope leg drop on Apollo Crews for the pin for the win, for the pin for a win. The winner of the match, Carmelo Hayes. This was a fantastic match. Um, Carmelo Hayes is the best wrestler on NXT. So shout out to Show Cyber TV for saying that that Carmelo Hayes is the best wrestler on NXT, and I agree with Show Cyber TV. It's nothing but facts. But this match was fantastic. Um, Axiom, Axiom attacked Tricky Williams and Carmelo Hayes after the match, hitting a crossbody on Tricky Williams and Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes inside the ring before hitting an outside Musa on the two on the outside before the commercial break. So we get Axiom versus Trick Williams. This was a decent match. After the after the commercial break, Will, Trick Williams got Axum in a chin lock before firing away with chops in the corner on Axum. Trick Williams went for another chop, but Axum evades and hit hit chop. Um, Trick Williams, I'm sorry, yeah, Trick Williams hit a double kick on Axum before hitting a running layer on Axum. Um, Trick Williams went for a pop up strike, but Axum reverses it in midair with a shotgun drop kick before hitting a series of strikes. A drop kick and a running corner insecurity kick and a diving cross by on Trick Williams for a near fall. But Axum quickly responds with a UG, UG, um, got, got to, got to me before Williams got a rope break. Trick Williams. Hit a kick on Axum before hitting a snap neck breaker on Axum for a near fall. Trick Williams went for a spinning roundhouse kick on Axum, but Axum rocked him with a forearm strike before hitting the golden right on, on Trick Williams for a near for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Axum. This was a decent match. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams attacked Axum after the match before Apollo Crews came in to make the save. Um, the day the Dar Whip Floor and Jagger Red came with Joe Gacy and Alba Rain to confront NXT Tag Team Champions. The New Day Kofi Kitchen is everywhere backstage for evading them and called the Skims a real family. Kingston told Joe Gacy that if they had a problem with him, they can solve it in the ring. To which Gacy responds by accepting Kofi Kingston's challenge. There was a vengeance vin- of the Bruce and beat up Channing Chen- Stack Lorenzo before, before being inter- interrogated by Dijak. Stacks told Dijak that he did whatever. The Don Tony D'Angelo tells him to do, but Dijak told him his, his actions had consequences. Dijak told Stax that he was looking at the face of fear before launching launching a forearm strike on Stax. Stax told Dijak that if he wanted to be a man to solve the issues in the ring, leading to a match between the two after the commercial break. Drew Gulak hosts semi seminary for Chase Universe University before Andre Chase came in and interrupted Gulak. Hank Walker told Chase that Gulak did not mean his words, but Chase responded by telling Walker, 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 Walker he could, he will give him and you know what whooping. All right, so we get Dijak versus Channing Stacks. Um, Channing Stacks and Ransom are coming by Tony D'Angelo. This was a quick match. The two began the match exchanging strikes before Stacks hit a series of knee strikes on Dijak. But Dijak hit a choke and a thirst kick on Stacks into it and I've been ab- abdomen before hitting a knee strike to the ribs on Stacks for a, for a near fall. Stacks hit a series of kicks on Dijak while laying on the mat, but Dijak stomped away at Stacks' ribs before hitting a rib breaker 
on, and taunting Stacks across the ring for a near fall. Dijak went for a corner spear, but Stacks evaded to slam Dijak into the ring post. Stacks hit for a corner uppercut on Dijak, but Dijak caught him with a vicious big boot for a near fall. Dijak went for another slam, but Stacks reverses it with a schoolboy for a near fall. Dijak hit a third kick on Stacks before hitting a feature eyes on Stacks while staring a dagger at Tony D'Angelo for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Dijak. This this match was quick. Dijak went for another feature eyes on Stacks, but Tony Tony D Tony D'Angelo attacked Dijak to make the save and challenged Dijak to a street rule street rules match. Oral Mansa was interviewed by McKenzie Mitchell backstage, but was interrupted by Javier Bernal promoting his Christmas album. Mansa Mansa rightfully called the idea cringe before challenging Bernal Bernal to a match for for later in the night. Gigi Dillon and J J C J C Jane were in the ring to cut a promo, saying that it was time to leave 2022 in the past as they as they showed the crowd how they cut through the roster. J- Jesse J- Jane said that the only the only watch and aim at NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez, but they were interrupted by Eddie Harwell who said that w- that she was tired of toxic attraction, but Corey J walked down Walked down the crowd to interrupt Indy Harwell and said that no one cared cared about Indy Harwell. Nakia Lyons was across the crowd to interrupt. Core J tells her that she deserves a kick to the head. Zoe starts interrupting and said, "Roxanne Press run will be short, but Wendy Chu interrupt and call J a call J. You know what? Uh, Dia Hall came from came from out of." Nowhere and demanded to cause a fight, causing Donnie Brook in the middle of the ring with the entire the with the entire roster, including Alba Frey, Elsa Don, the brawl to the outside of the arena. NXT Women's Champion Roster Press revealed to everyone that the the there will be a twenty women battle royal to determine the number one contender for the title next week. The roster continues to brawl in the ring as Alba Frey. And Elsa Dawn brought out of the ring, out of the Capitol Wrestling Center ahead ahead of their match. Okay, so we get extreme rule, extreme resolution match. Elsa Dawn versus Alba Frey. This match was good. Um, this was a good match right here. Pure, pure to the official start off the match. Start of the match. The two brawl in the backstage area with Dawn launching Alba Frey onto the ladder. Well, into a ladder. Don then launches Alba Frey onto a giant X before Frey hit a body slam on Don on Don onto the Rainbow X. Don launch, launches a painting painting on Frey's head before swinging at Don with a lead pipe. To, but Don evades and launches a trash can on Alba's Frey, uh, Alba Frey's face. Um. Don tried to attack Frey with a lead lead pipe, but Frey hit a forearm strike Don before slamming a ladder onto the rock of Don. But Don evade. Don and Alba Frey brawl over a pile with a bunch of ringside equipment before Alba Frey hit three forearm strike and launched Don into a stack of wooden stacks and chairs. Alba Frey pulled Dawn and placed her in a chair before they made their way across backstage before biting Dawn in a little in a little cart and walking her to the uh, ringside area. Alba Frey launched Dawn onto the broadcast broadcast table before Alba Frey got a steel steel chair. The match officially began with Alba Frey launching Dawn to the corner with a chair. Um Alba Frey Went for a suplex, but Don Elsa Don hit a series of body shots and hit a snap suplex on Alba Frey onto the corner for near fall. Elsa Don targeted Alba Frey's left hand, especially stomping the hand before hitting a chair shot to the rib. Elsa Don, yeah, um, Elsa Don hand, be, yeah, Elsa Don 
hand before hitting a chair shot to the rim. Um, Elsa Don went for another chair shot, but I'm afraid hit a big boot on the chair and fire away with chops and foreign strikes on Don before going for a DVD. But Don evade before Alba Frey hit thirst kick into the to the KLR bomb on Don for a near fall. Alba Frey hit a chair shot on Don back before placing the chair on also Don's rib and club climbing the climbing to the top rope. But Don yeeted the chair on to Alba Alba Frey's face to drop her to the outside. Don hit a meteor on Alba Frey on the outside, onto the outside. Back in the ring, got an English curl screw and twisted Frey's middle finger. But um, Alba Frey dropped Don with a snapmare. Alba Frey and Don exchanged forearm strikes before Alba Frey hit a face buster, a chest kick, and went for another chest kick before Don got a schoolboy on Alba Frey for a near fall. Um, Alba Frey hit a thirst kick on on Don to send her to the outside. Alba Frey hit a toe suicide on Don to the outside before pulling a table to the outside. Alba Frey set up the table, but Don slammed Alba Frey into the stairs before she squashed his Alba Frey's head with a toolbox. Um, also, Don tried to hammer the toolbox, but Alba Frey pushed the box into Don. Don went for it in inverted DDT, but Alba Frey evaded and hit a headbutt on Don to place her place her to the table on the outside. Alba Frey climbed to the top rope and hit a swanton bomb to the table. After the table said, "After the table said, I'm the table." Frey hit the KLR bomb on Don onto the table, finally breaking the table. Back in the ring, Alba Frey got Don in a single. Leg hook, but Don for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Alba Frey. This was a this was the match. This was a good match. Um, Grayson Waller was interviewed backstage by Mackenzie Mitchell, with Waller saying that Braun Breaker having that dog in him did not make him immune immune to to the Grayson Waller effect. There was a Vince. Vinge Nitti recapped the feud between Endos, Sheer, and Veer Maha, and Sagna and the Cree brothers, Jules Cree and Brothers Cree. Sagna detailed his career as an actor in India, while Veer highlighted his career as a baseball player on the Pirates. The Cree brothers said they they did not believe Endos, Sheer, did not care about respect with them saying they only the only way they can get respect is by beating them. So we get Oral Oral Mensah versus J. Bear Brenner. This was a this was a um average match. This was average. Brunel attacked Mensah before the match. Brunel hit hit a Larry on Mensah before firing away with with the punches on Mensah. Messiah got up and hit a series of punches, but Bernard hit a punch before hitting a back suplex on Messiah for a near fall. Bernard hit a bulldog into a lariat on Messiah for a near fall. Bernard hit a back elbow strike on Bernard for a near fall. Messiah hit a hit a chop forearm strike and a dry kick on Bernard, but Bernard hit three elbow strikes and a DDT on Messiah for a near fall. Bernard went for a DVD, but Mensah invaded and hit a back drop on Bernard. Mensah hit two lyrics and four strikes, a springboard and Elza Moonsaw and a spinning heel kick, and locked in a sleeper hole on Bernard on the ropes before hitting an exploder suplex. Explode, I'm sorry, exploder suplex on Bernard. Bernard hit a corner leg Larry on Bernard for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Oral Mensah. This was a quick match. Josh Briggs, Brooks Jensen, Brooke, Josh Briggs, yeah, Josh Briggs, Brooke Jensen, and Fallon Henley were backstage before Kiana James interrupted. James congratulated Henley on her win last week and told Henley that she will see her later. James told Jensen to text her later, which bamboos Josh Briggs and Fallon Henley. 
So we get Andre Chase, um, accompanied by Duke Duke Hudson and Theo Hall versus Drew Gulak, accompanied by Hank Walker. Um, this match, this this match was um, um, okay okay for what it was. The two lock up before Chase got a wrist lock onto on onto a hammer lock on Gulak, but. Gula got the ropes for the for the rope break. After the two shook hands, the two lock up before Gula got a front ankle lock on Chase. But Chase evades before Gula got a chicken wing on Chase before Chase got a rope break. Gula got a wrist lock on Chase before Chase leaped over Gula and hit a arm drag on Gula. Gula um evade Chase and hit a back suplex for. Locking in a nerve hole on Chase before hitting a suplex with a bridge on Chase for Neil Park. Gulak got a canvas on Chase, but Chase ran the, ran the ropes and hit a sliding draw kick and a rushing leg sweep on Gulak. Chase hit the, the Chase hit the Chase U stomp on Chase, on Gulak before locking in a figure four, but Gulak got a rope break to break the hole. Um. Gulak fired away with a Kobashi slap three headbutts and axe handle. A body slam to the ropes and locking in the Gulak dragon sleeper for the submission win. The winner of the match drew Gulak. This was this match was okay for what it was. NXT North American champion Wesley was interviewed backstage by Mackenzie Mitchell, saying that the winner of the winner of Dijak and Tony D'Angelo should challenge him for the title. So we get the main event of the evening. Kofi Kingston, accompanied by Xavier Woods versus Joe Gacy, accompanied by Ava, Rain, Rip, Floor, and Jagger Red. Now this match, now this main event was pretty good. Kingston and Joe Gacy lock up before Gacy hit a shoulder tackle on Kingston. Kingston leap over Joe Gacy twice and hit and hit a sprint, spinning back elbow on Joe Gacy for a near fall. Kingston hit a diving crossbody, Joe Gacy for a near fall. Rain dropped Kobe Kingston in, in, his, in his in his nerd on the top turnbuckle before Joe Gacy hit a super place on Kingston for a near fall. Joe Gacy punched Kingston in the head before tossing Kobe Kingston into the corner. But Kofi Kingston responded with a dropkick. Kofi Kingston went for a corner splash, but Joe Gacy responded with a backbreaker, with a backbreaker before hitting a side backbreaker on Kingston before a near fall. Joe Gacy went for a camel clutch on Kofi Kingston, but Kofi Kingston evaded the hole. Um, Kofi Kingston hit a double hammer strike, a standing drop kick, and went for the SOS. But Joe Gacy, but Joe Gacy pushed. Kofi Kingston in the corner. Kofi Kingston hit a big hit a boot um boot kick on Joe Gacy before hitting a frog splash to the back of the to the back for near fall. Kingston hit the boom drop and went for trouble in paradise. But Joe Gacy took a side took a step back and hit a spike DDT on Kingston for near fall. Kingston hit Joe Gacy in the gut and hit the hit hit. Hit the Murphy Murphy saw on Joe Gacy for near a fall. Um, Kofi Kingston attacked Joe Jagger Red, but Joe Gacy caught Kingston with a forearm strike. Woods argued with the argued with the die, but Kofi Kingston hit a top con girl on Jagger Red and rip floor on the outside. Kofi Kingston evade Joe Gacy's lariat before hitting the trouble in paradise for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Kofi Kingston. Um, this match was, you know what I'm saying, pretty good. You know what I'm saying, pretty good. Drew Gulak and Hank Walker. Hank, yeah, Drew Gulak and Hank Walker were confronted by Charlie Dempsey, who said that Walker would be next. Drew, Drew Gulak told Dempsey that um, Walker would rip Dempsey's arm off his socket, which bamboo. Van Boos Walker, Pretty Deli, Elton Prince, and Kit Wilson were backstage with with New Day, to and told New Day that they would run the gauntlet to prove their worth and get a title shot at the tag titles. All right, 
there was a ver vig vignette promoting NXT New Year's Eve with the mysterious um blonde figure saying that she will make an impact in, in, in make an impact in NXT. Grayson Waller hosted a new edition of the Grayson Waller effect in the main event of the broadcast. Waller promote the promote promoted the show as the last of Braun Baker's NXT title run as he promote as he promised to end Braun Baker's title reign. Braun Baker came to the ring for the segment. Breaker admitted that Goldberg was an inspiration of his and him and admitted that Waller outsmarted him doing the Bret Hart Goldberg callback. Um Waller was ad Immediately bamboozled by Bra Bra Baker, come the man the manner, but break but Bra Baker said that Waller antics were just distractions while he focused on reality. Bra Baker said he did not care about what Waller said. After Waller annoyed Bra Baker, Bra Baker hit a gorilla press slam on Waller to send him to the outside. Bra Baker hit a top car. Girl on Riller, on Riller to the outside to end the end the show. So WWE NXT goes off the air. But like I said earlier, NXT was a was okay show. It was an average. It was your average okay show, and I give it a five out of five out of ten. But anyway, if you guys join my WWE NXT review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on WWE NXT. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to notify when I to get notified when I premiere a brand new video on, on YouTube or I go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow for an AEW Dynamite review and highlights. This your boy, B-Boy Fast Giant TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.